Hello, uh, very good morning, everyone. Trust that you are doing fine. Stay healthy and safe during these pandemic times. Uh, I'm really excited about today. Uh, we prepared quite a long time for this uh, event. Uh, we spent a lot of hard work uh, trying to create a, a very strong and uh, impactful sessions for you. And we plan to share with you what we have uh, in Yana, what we have developed in Yana, as well as in Dynamics 365 uh, that we truly believe can help you uh, navigate through the post-COVID-19. Uh, First of all, let me thank you, our valued customer. Uh, we truly appreciate your continued support as well as trust in Technosoft, uh, working with your team, trying to uh, implement the next generation automotive retail solutions uh, for your companies. COVID-19 is really changing the way we live and interact. Many says we'll never go back to the pre-COVID-19 times and a company uh, really need to adapt and continue conduct businesses in the new era of social distancing and health restriction. Uh, the impact of the virus really has changed the customer behavior and expectation. And this includes in automotive industry, which we know are heavily impacted by the virus. Uh, previous data, customer journey may no longer be valid. So every business right now, they must rethink the new customer journey and experience. I'm going to share with you a fresh, more relevant data captured uh, since COVID-19 outbreak done by a U.S. company uh, that's typically doing a survey for automotive. Uh, the company name is Carguru. Uh, We'll share with you the complete report uh, by email of this study so that you can uh, read the full report. Uh, basically, according to this survey, demand of the uh, car sales slipped uh, quite significantly. Uh, uh, the survey has done two times. So the first survey, they did it in April. And then the second survey, uh, they uh, did it in uh, June. And even though you know uh, the data shows that the sales have slipped quite tremendously in April, it actually shows gradual increase in uh, June. So, and, and uh, what is uh, striking about this uh, survey result is that though the demand of the car sales decrease and gradually increase, uh, the demand actually still exists. It's, it doesn't disappear uh, at all. I won't go too much detail uh, on this uh, diagram or this chart. Uh, you can read it in a full report later. But what I really want to point out uh, in this chart is that those uh, that are really planning to purchase the car this year, 68% thinks that it is necessity right now uh, to uh, purchase the car. And, uh, you know, there are various reasons. So one of the reasons is because people are actually afraid of uh, contacting the virus. Um, we watch uh, almost everywhere, even to those uh, countries that are you know, very successful in managing, containing the spread of the virus in wave one. Right now, they are uh, hit by a second wave. Uh, I just saw the report last week, uh, a warning from WHO on the spread of second wave virus in Europe. The, the second wave hitting countries like uh, Spain, France, uh, they are even higher than uh, the first wave. So, uh, and, and because of this, many are th rethinking actually uh, uh, about the ride sharing and also public transportation. Uh, many of them, they will try to decrease uh, using these services as possible and even uh, to a certain extent to stop using it entirely to avoid uh, getting uh, com uh, contracted by the virus. A uh, survey also shows that people, you know, they, they are expected uh, to use more of their cars, you know, as they feel safer that way. Uh, it's also interesting uh, from the surveys that 72% of uh, those uh, who is going to travel, uh, they prefer to travel uh, using their car rather than to fly. Um, it, it's not good news, though, for the L9 industry, but, uh, you know, whatever make people feel safe, uh, that's what likely they will do. And uh, a little over 20% of those that will buy a car this year actually don't plan to buy a car, but because of the uh, COVID, 
uh, they decided to uh, purchase a car anyhow. Uh, this survey shows a significant change in customer behavior uh, as we all expected. Uh, those that plan to buy a car, uh, they don't feel necessary anymore to spend a lot of time at the showroom. Uh, in fact, more than ever, uh, since COVID-19, uh, people will, you know, they will search through the web, uh, making comparison, different brands, different models, different uh, types, and uh, narrow it down their decision before they start contacting uh, the dealership and with uh, the initial contact through digital. So, uh, despite of this increasing in uh, digital retail experience for buying car, uh, only 29% actually expect to buy the car uh, truly contactless purchase. So it, this is very different than you know buying other uh, commodities. Uh, for example, uh, we are at home since COVID-19, uh, we spend less and less time to going to supermarket. Most of our needs, uh, even uh, vegetables, fruits, uh, we, we already order online and we are used to that and we don't feel uh, the necessity anymore to visit supermarket. However, uh, for those that are buying car, uh, despite of the increasing digital uh, retail experience, they still feel that uh, the final decision point, uh, they need to have uh, some kind of face-to-face uh, uh, -face, uh, uh, experience. Now, um, so uh, truly a virtual customer journey for buying vehicle, uh, it's really not there yet. Uh, majority of the car, uh, they still need to do test drive. Uh, they still need to have uh, 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 engagement with the salespeople. However, what is important right now for the automotive retail industry is to capture the digital retail experience up to the point uh, where uh, the customer uh, is interested to do test drive. These are the critical areas uh, right now. You know, coming back to the previous uh, slide uh, that I mentioned, you know, we truly need to rethink uh, what is the new uh, customer journey right now. Uh, previously, we are used to having customer visiting the showrooms or we are used to having salesperson doing uh, canvassing, uh, 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 setting up booth in malls or in exhibition. Right now, we really need to rethink and focus how to increase our digital uh, retail experience and then capture those interests and move them uh, digitally, contactlessly, safely from those digital experience to uh, test drive and eventually convert them into uh, closed sales. So um, uh, automotive industry is like changing a lot during this post COVID-19. Um, we, we really need to re-strategize we really need to collect the new data. We really need to collect the new customer experience. And uh, we do hope that the sessions that we prepare today uh, will help you uh, rethink this, will help you re-strategize your uh, retail experiences, either for sales and also after sales. Um, uh, all the sessions that we have today, they are full of demos. We're not gonna share with you many slides but we're gonna share with you uh, real uh, product demos and show you and give you some idea how you can navigate through these uh, pandemic times and, and uh, really uh, collecting new data and understanding new customer behavior and try to excel uh, in this post uh, COVID time uh, for your companies. So uh, I'm really excited about this. Uh, I do hope you uh, stay throughout the sessions uh, if you have uh, some other meetings, you can choose what sessions are more important for you to attend. Uh, and, but uh, I do hope you attend everything and uh, 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 hope you have a good sessions today. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can ask the presenter or you can have a follow up uh, question with us. Uh, we'll have this uh, survey session throughout the uh, survey uh, throughout the sessions. Uh, you can give us feedback. Uh, let us know uh, what you feel good, what not good about this session, or what additional information you need, or what additional sessions you want us to conduct uh, in the future. And again, uh, thank you. Uh, as always, uh, please stay safe and stay healthy. Cheers.